Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya sayidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi washabbi ajmain. La haula wala quwwata illa billah. Brothers and sisters, fellow students, let me first of all welcome you to this particular episode on the academic month that the university will be undergoing beginning from the 5th of October insyaallah we are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving this opportunity to revisit the academic month which has been held year on year but this year we will do it in a special way so that we can culminate over the things that we have done since 2018 and until today the academic month the word academic to us in the university has a special meaning the university is an academic institution it is different from a business institution or a corporate institution or even a civil institution for that matter an academic institution has got its own characteristic that we must preserve and promote so that we can function truly as a university in its real sense of the word as an academic institution we cherish a number of values things like autonomy things like academic freedom things like flexibility things that makes us work together in a flatter organization that is not so hierarchical in many bureaucracies around the world all this makes the university a very cordial and a very friendly institution and environment that will promote education that will promote dialogue and that also will promote discussion and some disagreements among ourselves and that is how education and academia and knowledge will proceed from one point to another point unless it is practiced in a genuine sense of the word of searching for truth and looking at what is best for the humanity we will not be able to serve as a university in the true sense of the word and therefore during this month we want to practice this as part and parcel of what the university ought to be and make it into a culture that we at the end of the day will serve humanity will serve rahmatan lil alamin the way we put it in our tagline university that leads the way or leading the way based on khalifa amana ikra and rahmatan lil alamin and therefore i would like to emphasize that this university takes the leadership as far as academia is concerned we will determine what is the process that needs to go through what are the processes that we need to go through and how do we build an institution that has the characteristic of an academia that will lead the world forward especially in trying to solve problems not only locally but also problems that relates to humanity the world problem as it were particularly in the sense of the covid-19 that all of us are undergoing that now are very important for us to look at in terms of the prospects of the future this university has been in the last couple of months mark its itself in what we call a scenario plans activity that will focus of where the university will be in the year 2040 the year 2040 is taken because we see 20 years from now we can do a number of things that will change and shape and redesign what the university ought to be during that period of time and this is the role of the university in fact to my mind this is the major role of the university to plan for the future so that the future will remain relevant to us so that the future will also serve a bigger portion of the population around us if the university for a long time has been only to serve industry as it were now the university need to serve the community not only the local community but also the global community at the same time iium alhamdulillah is ready to take this role we are poised to take this role because we have prepared ourselves in the last few years with the documents and also ideas of what the university ought to do for example the sejahtera academic framework is one of the foundation of the new university that we're going to build inshallah we have got the scenario plan as as mentioned to you we have got our own road map these are all ideas where we need to build on so that the university will move on into a better university relevant university and also a university that serves mankind rather than just individuals or pockets of individuals 
Certainly, the COVID-19 has given us a lot of reminders, a lot of uh, lessons to be learned. And this is, I think, a blessing in disguise that we need to take up and make sure that this will be the points that we will solve as we move forward. So on that note, brothers and sisters, we want to work together and I call on you to take this uh, academic month as a month that we will exhibit the best of this university so that the other world can sample it so that we know that we are in the right hands and moving forward, steering the future into the best of everything. So we make supplication and also du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we remain His blessing. We are given the courage to make the change and also looking forward for His Taufik and Hidayah. Wa bilahi Taufik wa Hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you and all the best. In spirit of the IIS Academia Month, I would like to say thank you, dear lecturers, for your dedication and passion in teaching us. We can never repay you for your remarkable contributions toward our growth and development. Great leaders, inventors, and revolutionaries are not born. They're inspired and motivated to do great things because of lecturers like you. Thank you so much for being our anchor. Dear lecturers, thank you for making the new steam a mile away from our home. We love IIM more than anything. That speaks for you. Dear lecturers, thank you for all your kindness, encouraging us when things seem impossible, mentoring us when we were lost, and strengthening our confidence when no one was there. We have no words to express how grateful we are. Without your daunting efforts, we could never have made it. Thank you. Thank you, lecturers, for guiding us, teaching us, advising us, and letting us breath easy through our topsy-turvy years. Thank you for being such a fullest educator for all.